So there's a concept I really love um, that always challenges me or reminds me to, when I, uh, to be in an innovative space. So you know how people have this quote where they say, think outside the box? I like to say, throw away the box. The box doesn't exist in the first place. <laughs> One of the concepts that inspires me and epitomizes this is Apple's Think Different poem. I always have that phrase in my mind, think different, whenever I feel like I'm starting to become a bit too business as usual. I feel like BAU is the enemy of think different, right? So BAU just means that, you know, you're just, you're kind of just doing the, the, the things you're doing and ticking boxes, but you're not bringing the magic. You're not leveling up the things you're doing. Uh, and so that's why I like it. And I always think about, I, I'll watch that ad campaign and watch that video on YouTube. It just brings me back to a space of challenging me to, to move away from the comfort zone when I need to. And so I had a great uh, session on this with my team in February because again, as the company grows, uh, I think BAU also becomes something that comes up. And of course, my last episode, if you didn't watch, it was about processes. So processes will bring a bit of that BAU because the idea is to standardize, right? It's for people to follow a particular way of doing things. And the irony is, <laughs> this then is the, is the reason why you lose that thing different because people are so focused on following the process that now they're not remembering to think on their feet or to bring in their own creativity into it. So it becomes a little bit about conformity and ticking boxes. Of course, what makes us as a startup, the very thing that makes us good at what we do as a technology startup is the ability to think different, the ability to have the BAU, but also not too much <laughs> so that we can always keep innovating and challenging things and leveling up what we do in different ways. I like using the example of uh, Apple was transitioning from their core product, Apple 1 and 2, to the Macintosh. I can see a lot of, um, you know, a lot of similarities, let me use simpler words, between, the, I think, that period and, and what we're going through with ZD because we have our core product. But recently, I've also shared a video on this um, on LinkedIn. We've launched WhatsApp and it's very cool and we're very excited about it. It's challenging and going against the face of what we've seen traditionally to be online learning or um, e-learning, right? In the way people engage with it. When I thought about what we've built and how we're doing it, then I think what I was trying to think about, how do we launch our Macintosh? You know, how do we you know, sort of comfortably bring this new way of doing things, new behavior, new thing to the market. And so I saw a lot of that. So anyway, we had a great session with the team. Um, some of the things I would do in a session like that is maybe share some ads that are very out of the box. The best ones usually are from Coca-Cola, by the way. You know, if you think about the fact that Coca-Cola is uh, selling a sugary drink, no offense, Coca-Cola, it's soda. You, they never really advertise soda, right? Like that's one of my best campaigns of theirs was open happiness. I was like, well done, guys. I see what you did there. You're literally want us to think about happiness in a bottle instead of thinking about the fact that we're taking a sugary drink that's very tasty um, when we buy coca-cola you know we would go through the team and i would ask the team what are they really selling here right what what we think they're doing and so by going down that road the energy shifted with the team with myself um, a lot of great ideas in terms of came up from the team um, yeah and we all left i feel like people left on a high you know feeling sort of uh, inspired and that's really what we're going for as you do what you're doing every day I challenge you that yes, it's good to follow process and I love process, I talked about that, but also ask yourself, are you thinking different? Are you throwing the, away the box? Are you remembering to still innovate, level up, challenge the status quo so that you constantly keep doing better and keep building on what you're doing to give even greater value to everybody around you. So I've recorded Think Different, uh, the same poem by, by Steve Jobs, but the African version with my African accent, you know, and I dedicate this to all the African founders, African entrepreneurs, you know, generally Africans out there, by Africa for Africa. Here is my version of me reading the Think Different poem by Apple's ad campaign and by Steve Jobs. So here we go. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They are not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things, they push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do.